Welcome to Homework Answers. Uh, we're going through the textbook Programming, Logic, and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell. And in this video, we're covering the last exercise in the chapter, uh, chapter 1, exercise 12. I probably won't do the, um, like the maintenance section or the, the bug fixes or that other stuff. You know, you can download these files from Cengage and they have these programs that they've kind of coded up and you just find the bugs, you know correct mistakes and unless those are really really difficult and I'll look through them I, I just there's not really a point to do them because they're not really that difficult um, so uh, yeah I'll also probably be doing the um, book that accompanies this book and they have problems in that as well I think I believe that your class probably requires you to have this book and the other book so I'll be doing problems from the other one as well. Uh, but let's get started with this one. Um, you're only asked for the pseudocode or the flowchart. And what this problem is asking is we want to figure out, or we want to we want to write a program to where you put in uh, the amount of hours and it's going to tell you uh, how many days and hours that is. So let's say, you know, you type in um, uh, let's see 49 for example you know you would it it would ask you how many hours you have and then you know you would say I have 49 hours and it would basically tell you okay that's two days and one hour so how is that achieved is what we need to figure out we need to write a program that does that so with the pseudocode we're gonna start and then we're going to have our declarations. We're, we're going to need an, uh, a variable for time, and that's where we're going to put in how many hours we have, you know, because we're, we're basically putting a, clicking a, a timer thing, and we're letting it go, and then we're going to stop it, and then it's going to tell us this is how many hours of time elapsed. And then we're going to have a variable for days, so we can output, you know, how many days that is, and then we also need a variable for hours to, to say also how many hours that didn't quite add up to a day. So that's a remainder, you know. Then we're going to have uh, an area for the user to put in the amount of hours they see on their little stop clock thing. Then we're going to go into our calculations. So days is going to equal uh, time, our variable time. And, you know, that's where you're going to put in how many hours you see on your stop clock. And that's going to be divided by 24, of course, because there's 24 hours in a day. And then in order to find out our remainder here, we're, um, or how many hours, you know, don't quite add up to a day, because we also want to display the leftover hours. The way we do that is we have hours equals the time, and we use this you know, a little um, uh, percentage sign, what we call that modulus 24. And what that's going to do is it's only going, it's going to say, I see this number of hours, and it's going to forget about how many equal 24. So if you have 24 hours, that's going to be put into days here, and it's going to forget about that. And then let's say you have like 20 hours left over. It'll recognize that and say, oh, that doesn't quite add up to 24, and it's going to say, oh, here you go, here's 20 hours. It's going to forget about all the ones that add up to 24, and it's just going to give you what's left over. So that's how you achieve the leftover hours that don't quite add up to a day, is you use this modulus. That gives you the remainder, the leftovers. Um, then we're going to output our result. The elapsed time is you know, days and hours. So let's check this out. Oh, uh, quick note too, um, you can't use modulus here. I, I noticed that before I tried to use, you know, um, double here, it, this won't, modulus won't work unless you use integer for some reason. So remember that. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so uh, let's do 73. So I click the, 
the little stop clock thing and let it run for 73 hours and then I pushed the button again and it stopped and it told me 73 hours. So there we go. Now our program is saying that that is equal to three days and one hour. And that's that's right. You know, so it's out outputting this little, I, I love the little modulus thing. Once you can figure that out, it, it's really cool. And there, there is a problem in the other book where you have to, you have to do something uh, outputting like a pattern, and I won't go into detail, um, but it, it, you'll have to use that. I th I'm pretty sure you have to use that, or the best way is to use modulus. Um, so anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's let's try another one real fast. Let's do uh, 89. Yeah, so three days and 17 hours. And that all looks good. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which should be Chapter 2.